Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun today. We are not going to do something in Visual Basic. I have a generic Excel tip for you. Uh, stay with me though. This is really actually very cool. Something I stumbled onto. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple VLOOKUP table. But uh, it's in order to find the pay period. So we might type in a date to uh, February 1st, 2013. We're going to put that right in here. And then right here we'll put, uh, we'll call this uh, pay period uh, start date. And over here we'll put the pay period end date for that cell right there. In fact, I'll move those over just a little bit. Um, all right, so let's get started. What do you do? You need to find any uh, pay period start date. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go just look on my calendar here by clicking on the time there. Let's go back. You know, let's go. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to 1990. Let's just say you happen to know that um, some places, you know, they go from Saturday to Friday or, you know, Tuesday to, to Monday or whatever. In this case, we'll go Saturday through Friday. Let's pretend that this the th Saturday, uh, March 3rd, 1990, was, uh, was a pay period start date, and it went all the way until the, the couple Fridays afterwards. So let's just, instead of the 10th through the 23rd, let's just pretend that we knew that for a fact. We could find that out if we knew that... Uh, Let's say tomorrow, which is March 23rd, uh, let's say that was the beginning of a new pay period, just for fun. We would say uh, March 23, 2013. And what we can do is we can um, we can go, you know, backwards by, you know, we can say equals this minus, and you know that uh, the last pay period is going to be, what, 14 days before? Let's check that. March 9th was a Saturday, yeah, so, uh, so we, if we know that 14 days back was a pay period start date, because this is a pay period start date, it's every 14 days, then we could, why not, let's say, minus, uh, 14 times, you know, 100 pay periods back, and then you could easily find a starting date for whatever you wanted, let's go 1,000 pay periods back, oh my god, Goodness, too many, too many. Oops, let's <laughs> let's go to 200 pay periods back. Um, let's keep going. Let's make it uh, 450. All right, I'm gonna call it a day there. We're gonna say that 12 23 1995 was our pay period start date. So let's just type 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 over that. Uh, we'll put we'll put it uh, right here. 12 23 1995. And we'll call this uh, pay period table. And we'll name that range in just a second. But this is pretty awesome. Take that starting date. I'm going to say equals that date plus 14 days. So that plus 14. And then we're just going to pretty much drag and drop this. Um, in fact, I could even select. Here's how I could select A3 through a uh, let's do a couple thousand just for fun. I'm going to select all those. Then I'm going to select the topmost cell by clicking up here and hit Control Enter. What does that do? It copies the formula of taking the cell above it plus 14 days, plus 14 days, plus 14 days, plus 14 days, all the way through time. Way, 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 way into the future all the way 2,000 more cells. So going to 2,072. A little overkill, sure, but you know, it's whatever. And uh, let's let's select at the top of the thing, Control Shift down, Control C to copy. And what we'll do is we'll right click and we will paste special. Uh, as, and we'll paste values. You could also right click and hit SV for special and then paste values. What have we done? We have actually converted all those formulas instead of saying something or other plus 14, it just says 1, 6, 1996. So they're hard-coded values. 
awesome. Why does that help us? Well, let's do that. Um, let's control shift down again, and we'll give this a name. We will call this range. Uh, I think we just had it. PPD table. We'll just call it pay period table. What are we going to do? We're going to VLOOKUP whatever any date we type in, and it will give us the starting date because that's the nature of the beast. VLOOKUPs will find, they'll go down, we'll scan, 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 and oh, if it can't go any further, it'll take that date. Uh, otherwise, if it's you know beyond this date, then it'll stop right here and it'll give you that one. We're going to use a VLOOKUP that has a um, a 1 at the end. Here, let me just show you. We're going to say this, the pay period start date equals VLOOKUP, VL, tab. We're going to VLOOKUP this, and comma. What's the table array? It's called, I think we just gave it a name, PPD, well, I'm going to hit tab because it's going to autofill. Pay period table, we're going to look it up in that table. Comma, uh, column one, we don't even have more than one column. And then uh, instead of clicking false for an exact match, anytime you're using numbers and you want to go and find uh, approximate, you're going to type a one, or you could double click on the word true there. I'm going to put one. As I'm lazy. Now hit enter. Oh, that's gross looking. That is a serial number that represents some date. But let's uh, let's click here. Hold control and click there. So we got this one and this one selected. Control 1. And we are going to format this as a date. I don't want to see any of those serial numbers by George. Alright. So, what are we going to do here? What's the pay period end? Uh, let's scooch that here. What's the pay period end? equals that date plus 14 or it might be 13 help me uh it's going to be that plus 13 pardon me it's going to be a friday it's going to be a saturday through friday and in fact we can say equals that and we can say this one equals that and what i want to do is reveal the day of the week so i selected those i hit control one for the formatting. We'll go to a custom format and we're going to type D, D, D. I want to see the day. Maybe one more D for Saturday instead of Sat. So we got, there's our sample there. Saturday, Friday. So that's pretty sweet. Let's type a random date. How about uh, December 25th, 1995? What was the pay period start date of that? Ooh, let's, uh, let's see. It was. December 23rd, Saturday, 1995, and the, that pay period happened to end 1-5-1996, which was a Friday. Oh my goodness. How about in the future? Let's go. Now let's do this year. What about, uh, let's uh, do in May. May 12, uh, 2013. Bam. There it is. Starts, uh, this is, this date is found within May 4th through May 17th, Saturday through Friday. Shazam. You're welcome, world. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching this tip. Tune in more for awesome, uh, more awesome tips. Um, I will give credit where credit is due. I think I came up with this one on my own, but I hope you guys, anybody out there can find this useful um, if you're, you know, especially if you, oh man, if you handle payroll, if you're doing HR stuff, this should be invaluable to you. You can look up any date and find out the starting and ending pay period uh, for that. And you can always find out which payroll that, uh, that date ended up in. Thanks for watching. God bless.